Welcome back to an absolutely gorgeously sunny day here in the Welsh mountains. Uh, this morning was real thick heavy frost but now it's lots of sunshine. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've been on a plant-based diet for nearly a year and I'm changing my life. I'm doing lots of training and exercise and eating loads of plants, um, fruit, vegetables, and I'm growing my own vegetables too. And this morning I've done a five mile walk uh, in the frost. I've come back, I've had a big banana smoothie and now I get to play in the polytunnel for an hour or so before I've got to run around after the children. So today I'm going to be planting uh, peppers and tomatoes, so I'll show you what I'm doing. Here I've got lots of little plastic cups that I have filled with some compost. Now I'm trying a bit of an experiment this year and some I've filled nearly to the top and some I've only half filled because the theory is as your plants grow you add more compost and they, they become sturdier plants. So I'm going to try that this year. This is what I've been planting. Um, red peppers, hot peppers, yellow peppers and two different types of tomatoes. A cherry tomato, sweet baby and a larger one as well um, to see how they do. My all I've got left to do is I've planted most of them up is I've just got one row of peppers to plant and what I've done is I've made little holes with my pencil little dips you might not be able to see but there's a little dip you only need to plant these these are tiny seeds these are the seeds of the peppers you can see here they are tiny so you only plant them very slightly in the pot. You don't put them right down to the bottom or else they will run out of steam before they reach the top growing. It's a bit like the children's sports days. The infants will start closer to the finish line because they, they run out of steam if they start too far back with the juniors. So you only need to make a little indentation to put your seeds in. And I've done all of these and you do them all exactly the same. So basically all you have to do is you get your tiny seeds, I'm putting two, putting two in each pot, if you can see that, a bit of the sunshine, I'll put it on. I use my pencil again because it keeps my hands clean and when you're handling very tiny seeds um, it's much easier to handle them with clean hands. So I'm just popping two seeds in the little indentation that I've made with my pencil. It's my, st I'm still no camera expert as you can tell but take my word for it, I'm putting two seeds in my little pots there. I can try and focus in a little bit. Last one. This is really not a good camera angle but we will persevere. Last pot. Put, put, there we go, in there. So, And then you just literally cover them up with your pencil. I was covering up my seeds like that and then they're covered and then hopefully they will grow. It's quite difficult here. Try and manoeuvre. I'll turn around see if you can see that. See got my seeds in there and then I'm just covering them up. Seeds in that one. Just cover them up. Push that one in the hole. Little hole there and cover them up with some compost. And the last one. There we go. Now these seeds are very, very fragile. They need a lot of TLC. So I've got them in this plastic, well not plastic, um, polystyrene container that I got from the garden centre. They were literally chucking it out. It was with all the cardboard boxes. And it has a lid. Uh, bear with me and I will get the lid over here, here we have the lid that's put on so they're all nicely contained now I will actually be putting these inside there you go, they're all nice and snug in there now it's a bit sunny in here for the camera so I'll walk towards the door but those little tomatoes and the peppers they are very fragile plants, they're very tender um, my polytunnel still gets very icy. I keep um, watering cans of water in, in the polytunnel to water my seeds because it does keep the chill of the water. It sort of warms up 
um, rather than keeping it outside. But even like this morning, there was still ice, or th thin ice, but there was still ice on top of the watering cans. So it will be still too cold in, in the polytunnel to grow these seeds. So they'll be going in the house on the windowsill in the kitchen, um, in, in the polystyrene container to keep them extra warm until they start growing because they just won't survive out here. They'll be really not happy. So I'm going to put them inside and, and treat them really well, hopefully, and then they'll reward me with growing. But um, we'll see. I am not an expert with peppers. I haven't got a good track record. Um, I'm trying this slightly different variety this year to see if it's easier to grow because I love peppers. I love eating vegetables. Um, most people on a plant-based diet, especially with a high raw content, seem to like eating fruit. But um, personally, I actually have always loved vegetables um, and salads. Um, some raw, some steamed. Um, but even as a kid, I, I would be the one eating cauliflower stalks and stuff. My mum would be chopping up cauliflower um, for stews or cauliflower cheese or whatever when I was a kid. And she would give me the big white uh, sort of stalk bit of, of the cauliflower and I'd be the one munching on it. Um, so I was a weird kid. So I am um, trying these different sort of peppers and I, I will be hoping to eat lots of vegetables um, through the summer. And hopefully some of the winter too because I love raw broccoli as well, especially purple broccoli. Um, to sort of uh, help uh, supplement the fruit because it's um, it's quite hard up here and challenging to to eat a lot of raw fruit and vegetables because it's just not available and of course it's it's not a tropical climb so uh, we get a lot of imported stuff but it's it's not as great as growing your own um, the sweetness even in vegetables when you grow your own and pick them and eat them straight away they just taste so much better and so much sweeter um, so there we are. So join me next time when I'll be planting some more seeds and keeping my fingers very firmly crossed that they all grow. And um, hopefully your garden's going great as well. So big thumbs up, and I'm still not very good with the camera. There we are. Can only get better. And I'll see you next time.